What's going on YouTube, it's Nature in the Hood and I'm back with another one. First I want to start off by saying Happy New Year's to everybody and I hope we start off our 2022 better than last year. This video ain't going to be about nothing, it's just me talking behind a bunch of updated videos I put together. Starting off we got the frog aquarium right here. And what I'm doing now is really just drenching the whole thing. I'm adding water to their pond back there as you can see it's kind of low. And I'm just giving it a little bit of humidity and moisture to the dirt because it was kind of dry. I got them in some type of, um, you could call it like hibernation right now. So they just sleep a lot under the dirt and I keep the light to a minimum. And as you can see, there's not much going on. It's just a bunch of dirt plants and it looked like nothing in here. But actually the frogs are always in there and they come out at nighttime. You just never get to see them. I'm gonna let y'all enjoy this little scenery right here for a little bit. Alright, so boom, this the full little setup. I got a lot going on right now, so bear with me. For starters, I gotta add food to the ant aquarium with an ant farm. And I'm starting to breed these mealworm beetles right here. Possibly have my own little mealworm collection going. And I'm gonna be selling them online. I'm gonna keep y'all updated with the whole process. It basically starts with these little beetles here. And once they do their thing, you feel me? They gonna go ahead and produce me a bunch of the little worms. And these worms here is what we use to feed almost any animal that we got in the uh, reptile or pet hobby period. I know a couple people that eat them too and you can feed them to birds and like chickens and stuff like that. But I, you know, I just feed them to my spiders and my frogs right now. So yeah, that's a good investment to make if you're doing this at home. I advise you all to breed your own bugs or sources if you can. If not, get them for me. Now these the ants right here, I gotta add something right there on the top of what you see. That's the feeding ground, that's where I put all the food at so it doesn't mold or mix with the dirt. And it's easy for the ants to smell it and come get it, you feel me? And this is my curly head tarantula, this is the one that's always out. The most docile spider I got, as you can see me touching it with no problem. The other ones, I don't really do too much with them besides look at them and feed them, but this is a pretty girl right here I got. And I like that she let me touch her. So I kinda give her extra worms, you feel me? But I know how I feel towards the other ones. Now this spider here, this is my striped knee tarantula. And this is the meanest spider I got. I'm gonna show y'all why I say that in a couple minutes. I got some footage of her, not wanting to be bothered at all. Still a cool spider. We all know Goldilocks, ball python, she's still going strong and doing good. I'm thinking about mating and don't worry about the scratches and the dirt on the glass that comes from my door to touching the tank all the time. And you know, everybody needs some maintenance right now. I'm not gonna record me doing the maintenance part. I'm just showing y'all an update of everything and hopefully in the next video, the tanks will be clean and ready for y'all. Here's the frog aquarium again. We already did everything in there, but I didn't show y'all the frogs. As I said, they always in here, they just hide. What I'm gonna do for y'all right now is go in there and I'm gonna show y'all exactly where the frogs hide at. Don't mind the colorful rocks in there. As I said in other videos, my daughter had a tank and that came out of her extra um, aquarium rocks. As you can see here, I got the three frogs out. Little man in the squad. Little man, mini man, and mighty man. You see they all healthy and they doing they doing good. Way bigger than the last few videos, but they supposed to be hibernating right now. As I got them believing, but 
Yeah. In the beginning, it looked like nothing was in here, but now you see what I was saying. The frogs really just play dead or sit still like rocks all day until nighttime come. And that's only they, they come out to eat at nighttime and they jump in the water. Still really not too much action, but yeah, they, they cool animals to have. I gotta clean the water out, so yeah, I might see that, might not. I don't know how I'm feeling about the maintenance part, but yeah, I had to get y'all the frog close up. If you ain't watched the last video, go back and watch it because it was about nothing but the fish. But as you can see right here, everybody doing good, everybody still alive, everybody swimming, everybody healthy, the tank grew in. I got the red one separated because they was fighting and she got injured. So I'm waiting for her out of heal up before I put her back in the aquarium with the other fish. She ain't doing bad. She healed up uh, real quick though. As long as I keep her separated, shouldn't have to worry about much. All the other fish doing good. And as you can see here, they all swimming. Everybody calm, collect. No fights going on right now. I got this male beta fish right there, his name Cowboy. If you want to know more about Cowboy, go watch the uh, previous video that I put up. Yeah, I got some nice vegetation. The plants took off. They started to grow real quick. Y'all yeah, probably can see the growth difference from this video compared to the other one. I got a nice albino quarry catfish right there. That's a good bottom feeder to keep um, aquariums clean. If you got an aquarium, you should invest in some of those catfish to keep it clean for you. I got some amber tetras right there. I'm trying to zoom in and catch them, but I got like five or six of them. That's a, a small type of school and fish just to add some type of decoration to the tank. You feel me? Yeah, everything grew in, everything cool. I'm liking the way it's starting to take off. Can't wait till I get some, um, some babies out of my beta fish. That's going to be mission complete. And as y'all can see right there, my little helper touching the glass. Like I said about the snake tank. That's the reason they always dirty. I want everybody to stop what they're doing and go subscribe to the homie Exotic Slayer. This is where I got a lot of my tarantula information from before I started really finding out about the other YouTubers that I'm subscribed to. Like Tarantula Cat, um, The Dark Den, and, and there's plenty more. But Exotic Slayer, him, and Ants Canada, those are the first two that I started watching. So do me a favor and go subscribe. Alright, so we back to these beetles. Now, right now I only got two, but I know I got a bunch of worms that's probably turned to the beetle somewhere around the house. So, I just gotta go dig through a couple of my little secret spots and see if I can find some. Right now, this is my dirt mix. We're like homemade dirt, is what we basically call it. And it's just a, a mixture of some of everything that I got and it turned into some real rich soil. So, you can plant almost anything in there, but I got a lot of bugs and as you can see right here, isopods, cleanup crew, a lot. And it's all up in this dirt, so I know I should have a, at least one or two beetles up here too. But I use these isopods to keep the aquarium, not the aquarium, but the terrariums clean. Like the frog tanks, the spider tanks, anything really. Unfortunately, while I was going through all this dirt and making a video, I didn't find no more beetles, so I just thugged it out with the two that I had, you feel me? So right now, I'm just going ahead and add a little dirt up in here with them right now. Just to get them something to lay their eggs up in, and once they lay the eggs, I could take the parents out and just wait for the babies to hatch, you feel?
Now this is the video I was telling y'all about the striped knee tarantula. As you can see right now, she already in a defense pose. Look at the teeth. And as soon as this, this candy cane that I got right here, get into a grab and reach, she's grabbing it and she's striking it. I almost dropped the camera on that first one, but as you can see right here, she's grabbing it. Every time it touch her, it get too close. That's a feisty fella. Well, feisty little woman. It's kind of nice to see because this shows that my tarantula is, is happy, healthy, and doing what it would be doing if it was in the wild. Shout out to the striped knee. And I caught some footage of it when it came all the way out of the hole so you can see how big it is. It's actually bigger than this. She just not stretched out all the way right now, but yeah. And this is the one that's fast, so I had to hurry up and get this footage. Since I was already right here, I decided to add this piece of cork bark into my um, curly head tarantula enclosure. Kind of just to encourage her to dig more. I, I think she just needs something to establish her foundation on before she start digging besides that little piece I got there. So I'm going to try to move over so I can place this cork bark in a good position for her. And I'm going to start off a little hole and then she can do the rest on her own. I know y'all are probably like, why he steady showing these beetles? It's just, I oh, don't know, they, 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 they weird to me, but they actually cool. I got another video on here where I said me catching an alien or something like that. That alien was actually the, um, the cocoon of this beetle after it turned from the worm to the cocoon to the beetle. So if you go back and look a couple videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. And from that cocoon, the alien looking thing, come out this beetle and in return this beetle gives me eggs and more mealworms or superworms whichever type beetle this is I got both type of worms I just don't know which beetle this is I'm guessing mealworms since it ain't that big but yeah it's still cool man and this just a mixture of chocolate and honey for the ants and right here are the mealworms superworms whichever like I said they both look the same, they both got the same life cycle, and they all feed the same animals. But right here, you got them eating some bell pepper that I put in here, the sweet bell pepper. The little colorful ones, you know. But, yeah, I just got a little time lapse of them eating. As you can see, they mouth opening and closing. I, don't, I ain't never got bit by one, but I wouldn't want to put my fingers right there, you feel me, so... Just be aware that if you're gonna mess around with these worms, there ain't nothing really to play with. They do defend themselves. And they spit on you too. If you grab them with the tweezers, they spin around and spit on you. I don't know what's to that. That's why I just hurry up, pick them up, and, and toss them where they need to be. You feel me? And I'm gonna let y'all enjoy this little time lapse and on to the end of this video. I wanna thank everybody for joining me today. Subscribe to my channel if you ain't. Like, comment, and share all my videos and content. Thank y'all for everything. Follow me on Instagram at Nature in the Hood. And that's it, that's all. Big ups to everybody. Happy New Year.